Hi, I'm seeing if we talk each episode and talk about it, do whatever you say in the comments. And I guess I'll take the opportunity to save the world. Um, and uh, today I'm going to show you, or I guess show you, I'm going to talk about it on how to make your own rumpers and onesies, which are basically like, you know, 90% of baby clothes. Um, and, you know, in a very easy way, so you don't have to actually make this whole thing from scratch or something. But just a very kind of neat thing uh, or a trick. Um, so you know, if you, for example, if you have, to, if you can't get, if you can't buy these for whatever reason, if they're not available, um, or if they're too expensive, or if you don't like the patterns or something, then uh, you know you can consider doing this. And essentially, you know, first of all, rumpers. I I always see people using rumpers and onesies for different things depending on. Oh, I need to eat something. I don't have too much to eat and not sure what I can do to change that. I guess I can sleep. I wonder if that recovers hunger. Probably not. Makes no sense. I can't. It is not daytime. Uh, but yeah, essentially, rumpers, we're talking about it basically a one piece of uh, garment that has pants and the top, like a shirt or like a long sleeved shirt I guess uh, in one piece um, and you know for babies there's uh, often also some kind of I guess these are called more sleepers or something um, where there's like socks or kind of footies included uh, which I guess for people or even toddlers that walk around uh, is not really helpful considering that a the feet are going to stink uh, very soon uh, and you have to kind of change the whole thing even though it would be just these socks and uh, there's also the issue that if you walk on it the, the footies are going to get destroyed you know way before the rest and then you have to either repair it or you could just have removable things like socks in the first place um, oh, again I'm, I'm starving and not sure what to do about it considering I can't really do much in that sense. This time, however, I will definitely make sure that I store my stuff in these things here. I still need to work on the food part, but everything else is kind of okay. Let's just, let's just, uh, oh no. Where's my spear? Stop it, stop. Ah. Let's get the spear in and the hammer. Where's the hammer? This is the hammer and some planks. Why can't I make this? And some plastics. So let's just add this here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Can I get this? No. I guess we'll just place as much as I can. And then put it here and then wait for our swift end right here. So yeah, and uh, the onesies, uh, which sometimes rumpers or like the, the cool adult versions, quote unquote, uh, sometimes are also called onesies or something, uh, but under this, I, I mean, it's more, you know, it doesn't have leg parts. It's just something that has a buttoned crotch, essentially, uh, for diapers, pretty much. It's, you know, just a shirt that has, uh, like, you know, a buttoned crotch area where you can easily do diaper changes and stuff without taking off the whole thing. Um, that's pretty much the idea. Let's take out our needed items, actually in the correct order, I guess. Uh, I don't need ropes, I believe. I need planks. I need plastics. Not sure what scrap is really used for. Let's just collect more random stuff. I want more crates or something barrel-like. 
I wonder why the items are drifting faster than the raft, even though the raft is kind of also in the same current, but I guess it's not supposed to be that realistic. Sharks also don't chew on rafts normally. So, essentially, you know, so we have these two pieces now and we hopefully have some kind of common understanding of what we uh, are talking about. Uh, any ideas? How do you make these without actually having to make the whole thing yourself? Uh, because fabric, generally, if you buy it extra, it's kind of surprisingly more expensive to make a to make something like that yourself. Although, of course, you can make it for the exact size that you have. And the quality is probably better if you make it better. Um, but, you know, fabric is quite expensive. And, uh, you know, if you, let it, if you let it make some kind of huge company that uh, makes use of some... Uh, very cheap labor in certain places then you basically can get it for cheap um, but yeah so the idea is essentially instead of making everything yourself from scratch what you can simply do is you can just buy yourself the parts of this thing and sew them together so for example uh, you can buy yourself a shirt that has is either neutral or has some nice patterns such as craft has some nice patterns, um, you know, maybe even some babyish patterns or something. Um, or you can, I guess, just sew some kind of, you know, some kind of babyish motives onto this uh, stuff. But, you know, just a cheap t-shirt of some kind of material that's probably cotton is the main thing to go for. Um, if it should be a bit warmer, then, of course, maybe some polyester kind of hoodie type of thing. And then um, you also need some pants parts, obviously. So get yourself some cheap pants some from somewhere to have some nice material that you like. And then the only thing you need to really do is get either you do it manually, which is a bit of a pain, I guess. But you could just buy yourself some, you know, sewing needle and uh, some strings. Um, and then, you know, you can do it manually or you can use a machine. If you're planning to do more of these things, you can. You might as well just buy one of these machines. And then um, you can essentially take a t-shirt. You can take the pants. Uh, take out the kind of... If it's some kind of like sports-ish pants with some uh, rubbery waistbands, which is probably in, you know, what you would use for a babyish onesie. Stop! Stop it! Or oh, it already has like scars on it, which is pretty sad. If it would just stop chewing on it. I guess this shark needed would need a straitjacket from the last video. Uh, that would be really helpful. Um, but yeah, uh, just get yourself something that you know, is comfortable. And then remove the kind of waistband. Uh, which, uh, you know, I guess you could just cut off the entire waistband area. Uh, which is probably the easiest. Um, or you could just, you know, try to get the waistband out if it isn't, like, soon in specifically. Um, but, you know, you just don't want to have these kind of, you know, I mean, the whole, you know, one of the advantages of having rumpers is that you don't have a waistband that's kind of compressing your belly and stuff. Um, and you can simply just go and uh, just remove that. And then on the t-shirt, there's this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of, you know, lower, how's it called, you know, where things are kind of soon, where the ends are kind of soon together and there's like a thicker kind of sort of waist band, but not really rubbery. Uh, you can either remove it or just like leave it and use it or something. Um, if you don't want it, then you can just cut it and, uh, you know, have done some kind of loose piece of fabric. Uh, and then you just need to kind of double these um, and basically, uh, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a kind of, you know, a kind of gymnastic experience to get this kind of already, uh, you know, looped together fabric in some kind of position where you can sew it together. But the idea is you just, you just take the, yeah, you just take you know, put the inside out from both the t-shirt or the, you know, whatever hoodie or something and the pants. And then you lay the, 
uh, the where you would sew them together and of course make sure you uh, get the correct like uh, location so that it fits you properly um, and then just put them uh, you know on top or basically I don't know how, how do how do I say this you, you they need to overlap in the same direction so that both ends are kind of like at the same height um, I, I guess you know looking up a sewing tutorial is probably a pretty helpful tutorial um, but for the most part, you know, just make sure that you can sew them together so that after when you sew, when you finished, you basically can flip it like back inside in. And then you have, you know, you don't see anything sewn together from the outside. It's just basically, you know, fabric going into each other where the pants and the t-shirt meet. Um, you know, and you can base just sew these together. Now, since uh, now everything is kind of where you previously were kind of emptying, or not emptying, entering these clothes to kind of wear them, um, it's kind of soon together, you kind of have no place to actually get in. And in that case, uh, you need to have some kind of um, way to do that. So if you have a caregiver or someone that can basically, you know, help you get dressed, then it might be a good idea to uh, put a zipper on the back. But you could also just do a zipper on the front. So in this case, all you need to do is you need to basically, you know, make sure it's reasonably straight uh, and cut through the front or the back of the t-shirt and the pants, I suppose. Uh, some, uh, you know, straight cut. Uh, and then you just buy a zipper and sew it into place. And then you basically have a fully featured rumpers uh, for, you know, I'm not sure how, I mean, it depends on your, the availability of stuff, of course, in your area. Um, if that is going to be cheaper than just buying a onesie is another question. Depends on really, I mean, a really good cotton onesie that is like sort of babyish is kind of difficult to get a hold of. So, you know, it might be the only option really. Um, but you can do some quick comparison of prices if you have something available, of course. But for most, but that's a pretty cheap way to have a kind of rompers. Uh, if you just sew like the pants and t-shirt together. And you can make like them of the materials that you need. So for winter, you can have some more polyester mixed stuff in it. Like some kind of, um, you know, some kind of loose uh, polyester cotton mixed pants. Uh, that you would wear like um, you know at home mostly I guess um, and of course the same some kind of hoodie or something and then you would basically get why is there a piece missing and then you would basically have uh, everything together you can see whether that is cheaper or whether you want that in comparison to you know there's also the ABDL rompers that you can get from ABDL stores potentially um, and if you don't like the patterns and stuff, then of course, oh, we should definitely dump everything. Oh, I actually this is going very quickly, the dying part here. Nah. Whew. Okay, so next time I have any chance of dying because of lack of food and stuff, I need to definitely go and uh, drop items well before. Okay, let's get this stuff back out. This one I need to open, I guess. Not sure what these do in the first place. String light, rug, uh, a spear, hammer, something to drink. And this one. And I guess planks would be nice. And plastics. I think that's all I need really. Wow. Nice crate. There's a new one coming. But yeah, so that's that's it for the rumpers. Again, my explanation of course pretty difficult. Uh, but I think you know what I mean. Um, how to sew them together. And again, a sewing tutorial I think is generally recommended uh, because you get some general 
gist and techniques and how to use like sewing machines and stuff so yeah uh, but you can definitely make these things and since you know rompers might not be available for you then uh it's you know might be a good solution to just make it from already kind of working t-shirts and stuff now let's talk about the onesie part because for the onesie um there's you know for the onesie i mean there's pretty much there's two options in that sense uh, option number one would be you try to get either you know which is probably not the best way but you could get some sort of underwear and just have it like without buttons and just sew some kind of more sturdy underwear together uh, and then you kind of you know make a zipper at the back or something and get in um, or you have a t-shirt dress which is basically just a very long t-shirt and uh, which is a, which is actually very interesting like I'm not sure if that's considered to be like a female type of clothes uh, I personally have these kind of things uh, even though I mostly wear rompers but no, I have these and, you know, it didn't seem like people were, you know, it didn't seem like people were realizing that I got these from, like, the the girls' department. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, these are called t-shirt dress, but they're just basically long t-shirts, which I guess is very similar to a dress, considering a dress is kind of a long t-shirt, except it's more elaborate. I could drink stuff. But I don't have anything to eat. Oh, I do have something to eat. So maybe let's actually do that for once. Oh. And I wonder where, where I get these things from. Like from these crates. Oh yeah, I do get them from these crates. Very nice. It's just a matter of whether I get enough crates. Whether I can survive here. I need some more water good uh, at the very least i think my raft is now at a reasonable you know size i don't know why i can actually get to a to an island i guess i could build one of these sails but yeah so anyway the a t-shirt dress a t-shirt dress has the advantage that it's already it's already very long so the only thing that you really would need to do is you need to cut out some kind of uh you know you do cut out the part that goes at the side of your legs and just have some kind of uh, diagonal cut uh, towards the crotch area. And then you just make sure that the tightness is correct. Uh, you... Ah! Stop it! It's really scarred. It's kind of sad. I don't know. And you can essentially just do a diagonal cut uh, to the crotch so from the side of your legs to the uh, inside of your crotch and of course you can decide how kind of wide you need it for your diaper and then there's these kind of button stamp machines uh, which use kind of plastic I guess potentially also I'm not sure if metal ones also exist but these are typically like with plastic uh, buttons and you can essentially just, um, you know, just have this machine, have some plastic button sort of templates um, put into that. Uh, you can then press them together and then you have like nice little buttons uh, for your crotch area. Just put three on uh, the front and back side. Uh, typically the... Uh, oh wait, now I need to think. Is the front side at the top or is the... I think the f back side is at the top. I think the the back side should be like the at the top when you you know finish the buttoning. Uh, but I guess you can do it to your preference. So just do these kind of buttons in the right place, and after you've confirmed the right kind of tightness. Um, and uh, of course the ends of your cut fabric you need to sew together uh, kind of fold fold the edge in and sew it uh, you know sew it onto itself and then that should prevent it from uh, kind of 
disassembling itself. And then you've got yourself your own onesie in case you cannot get a hold of a onesie that you like or that has the kind of material that you want. All you need is a t-shirt dress which comes I guess with also potentially some nice kind of patterns and stuff. And again if you have more of a one colored um, you know, one color t-shirt or something uh, and you want more some some more babyish look you can just get yourself some kind of um, you know some kind of babyish motors you can sew into these clothes uh, which, you, which you can probably buy in legion online just for plain babies um, and you know then you have basically some nice pattern on it and it looks it looks you know just one of these kind of babyish motives uh, soon onto it somewhere makes the whole thing look babyish so yeah but if you make if you want some more neutral look so you can actually kind of wear it uh, while still having some kind of excuse that is you know just comfortable and has nothing to do with being a baby then yeah but that's pretty much it and I will now cut to the next episode I think and I want to get the crate though first Ha! That was not very successful. Ha! Now. Let's eat. Do we have more to eat? Stone? Nothing else. Oh. Yeah. I forgot to do that. Uh, yeah. So again... I guess let's do that and uh, bye.